what's going on virgo it's your girl d with eighth house energy i'm here to bring you a april 2020 wrap-up video i'm going to do a couple of uh spreads for you just to get uh, the overall energy that we're wrapping up for april uh before we get into uh the the readings for may starting next week i hope all is well with you guys based on you know what's going on with the situation out here i hope you guys are doing well i hope you're not stressing yourselves too much um by watching too much of the news you know, because you guys know you guys, you know, you guys worry a lot in general, you know, depending on what else you got in your chart. But um, you don't want these energies to, um, you know, take a toll on your health. So please take care of yourselves. Please um, stop watching the news. Watch it once a week if you need to check in and see what's going on. Um, if you're in New York, you, yeah, watch it at least once a week, especially the, the states that have been hit hardest because there's not going to be any major changes going on daily that you need to be in front of the news about, stressing yourself about. You know, wash your hands, um, you know, wear your mask when you're going into public places, um, you know, just do what it is that you need to do and what you feel is going to make you safe and your family safe. And just please try to keep a cool head with the planetary alignments going on right now, coupled with what's going on. A lot of people are getting very angry, very frustrated, and they're taking their frustration out when they're going out in public. Um, you know, incidents where, you know, police are being called because people don't know how to act in stores, things like that. I've seen it this weekend. So p please be careful. Please think twice before getting into something with someone. But by all means, you know, you have to protect yourself. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just telling you, be careful to see if you can de-escalate the situation so that, you know, nobody wants to end up in jail in this with this going on here because then you're really going to be susceptible to some shit. You don't know what's in there. I would be more scared of going to jail than just going out here in the world, to be quite honest. No telling what's going on out there, but I digress about all that. I hope all is well with you guys. Um, I do want to let you know if you are a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or um, Venus person, um, I'm giving readings at 50% off. It's only the tarot card reading. So look in the box below if you want a reading. Look at the tarot card section. There's five readings there. Readings number two, three, and four are the ones that are 50% off for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus in Venus. Now, if you have a Taurus Ascending sign and you can provide proof to me that you have a Taurus Ascending by providing me your date of birth, your time you were born, and the location of where you were born, I can look that up in two seconds. I can confirm your Taurus Ascendant and I'll give you 50% off of readings two, three, and four as well. All right. So let's see what we got for you, Virgo. Again, this is a uh, April wrap-up reading. I'm going to do a couple different spreads for you guys. Oh, I already did all this, but hey, let's do it one more time. It won't hurt. So let's see what the overall energy is for, for this first spread. It is Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. So queens represent the um, your emotions and your feelings, okay? Um, what you're receiving, how you respond to the things that you, the information that you receive and the actions that are done to you, how you respond to that. Some of you are being very practical about the situation, which is good. Um, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're stable. Um, you're, you're focused on making your money, um, and taking care of your families, um, providing for your home, your loved ones. You know, people in your, some of you are looking out for people in your community, just the overall good person. Um, this is good energy here. I like this. So let's see what we got here. We got the um, Page of Swords, clarified with, Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, clarified with, Nine of Swords upright. We have the Ace of Swords reverse. Clarified with, this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Clarified with, Major Arcana, the Priestess in reverse. Okay, that's Moon energy. Oh, she came out in reverse. Okay. So what I'm getting here. Some of you are um, realizing that you're, this is a, a love situation I'm getting here for some of you. It could be work as well, but if this is um, work here, some of you are just not happy where you are. Some of you may have gotten word that your job is over um, and you're not sure what to do. You're trying to balance your funds. So this is where, you know, maybe some of your headache is coming in with this Nine of Swords energy. Um, 
some of you have may have gotten word about another job opportunity or some finances coming in. And so um, but that's what your concern is. This is why you're stressed out here. Um, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, some of you, you know, you have clout in the in the just in the uh, High Priestess card in reverse. Some of you are not seeing something clearly. Some of you are in denial about something is what I'm getting strongly here. Someone's lying to you to cloud your vision about something. Um, now, if this is a work relationship, let's deal with that first, a work scenario here. Um, some of you um, may have gotten laid off or may have gotten word that you're going to be getting laid off or you're feeling as if that could be happening and you're focused on, you know, how you're going to make ends meet. You're trying to figure out the best way to, um, you know, um, get your finances in order in the event that this happens. So, you know, you're being more practical around the house. You're spending less. You know, you, you, you're you rationing out what you can use and what you can't use, which is a, a very, uh, makes total sense. A lot of people are not doing that. They're just so busy going out buying, 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 trying to hoard, but that they're not looking at what it is that they have and saying, okay, we have enough. We just need to... Um, you know, focus on how we use this. Okay. So if it's something that, you know, just small things around the house, small changes that you're making so that you make sure that, you know, you have what you need and that it lasts you until you are able to go out to the store again, because money's tight. All right. And so, you know, you're, you're very anxious about that. You're very nervous about that. And again, I do want to um, stress to you guys to be careful with worrying because you guys rule the um, upper intestine and stomach area. So, you know, you guys worry a lot that could, you know, affect your stomach. Some of you, you know, you're not able to keep food down because you're nervous. You know, you're not able to eat. You know, you're having, you know, issues, different health issues here. So please be careful. Don't stress yourself out by watching the news every day. You know, um, be in control of your environment as much as you can, which will help to quell your nervousness and your anxiety. Now, with this Ace of Swords in reverse here, this just tells me that, you know, there could be some dishonesty going on. Some poor judgment is what I'm getting specifically because we have that clarified with the um, High Priestess in reverse. This is cloudy vision. Um, this is someone telling you something but not telling you the truth. They could be lying to you about something at your job. It could be. All right. If this is um, a relationship, that could be your person is lying to you about something. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes trying to keep you in the dark about something don't want you to know what's going on some of you this person could be watching you and they could know that you're dealing with other people okay um and um or you're watching your person you know your person is dealing with other people um you could see them online communicating with other people you could um even know that they're trying to connect with someone new and that could be stressing you out but when you talk to them about it they're lying to you but you 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 got proof of it you've seen it you know what's going on or this could be vice versa. Your person could be coming to you telling you, you know, asking you what's going on. You, you know, who, who is that you're communicating with online or who are you talking to? And you're in denial. Oh, no, you know, I'm not dealing with anybody. But your person knows that you're lying to them. They know you're lying to them. And they may not tell you that they're worried about it, but they're worried. They know what's up. They know that you're trying to leave or you're trying to move away from them. Or you know that your person is trying to leave and trying to move away from you. And if this is a job situation, your job knows as well. They could tell by your attitude and how you act that you're trying to leave. Or you know, based on what your job, what's going on at your job, that you may end up needing to leave. Or that they may end up laying you off. Or you're just unhappy with the job and you know you need to find something else because your, your hours have been cut back. And now you need to find something to supplement that. Okay? And um, you're not letting your job know what's going on for some of you. You're not letting them know that you're looking for other resources or you realize that they're not telling you what's going on. They're keep, you know, management is is in a position where they're keeping things from you. Is what I'm getting strongly here with that. Let's see what the cards are that we got here. OK, so, yeah, um, so we have the um, Queen of Pentacles, which was the overall energy here. You know, this is how you're feeling on the inside. You're trying to protect your assets, trying to protect your finances, trying to protect your relationship, right? That's how you feel on the inside with the feminine energy. You're trying to be practical about it. You're trying to be supportive. You're trying to be stable, okay? But then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse here. So you got clarity on the situation, all right? Um, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse here, some of you realize that, you know, um, with the relationship, your person is messing with someone else, 
you know, um, or you may be seeing someone else um, or you're mourning this loss, but you have someone else that you prefer to be with or your person is um, leaving you for someone else. Now, with the uh, chariot in reverse here, it's like <clears throat> you know that the relationship is not going to move forward, the current relationship you're in. You know it's not going to move forward. You guys are not doing well. Um, your partner could be um, looking to move out and find another place, okay? The, the only thing that could be holding them up is because of what's going on with COVID, COVID-19, all right? Um, <clears throat> could be some transportation problems as well, which could be, um, you know, you're having issues getting back and forth to wherever you got to go, maybe your car right now is having some issues and because money is tight might be difficult for you to get your ride fixed and then we have the lovers in reverse here someone has to make a decision like i said somebody's seeing someone else and they're not letting their other person know and now it's time to make a decision some of you you already know and it's all about divorce some of you may not know your person filed for divorce you may find that out shortly if not already they might have done it behind your back and you're going to end up getting those papers they could be working on getting themselves a place first before they do that. But somebody's planning. Somebody is strategizing and planning and putting things in place. Being practical, being smart about the decisions. Okay, because this is what, and they're keeping it to themselves. Okay, because that's what queen energy represents, what's going on in your emotions and feelings. So you're not making this known that this is what you're doing, but this is how you're feeling. All right, you're trying to manifest um a opportunity for you to uh, benefit in this situation here because you may not see any options in the current situation that you're in and you decided that there yeah there's just no you know there's no hope it's not going forward this is a losing situation for you so it's like in order for you to um, put yourself in a position where you're not stressed out and worried and you know got issues going on here you decided that you're going to focus on ending the situation with the death card because you don't want to be stuck all right. A lot of you are trying to be patient. OK, with your lover here. Um, some of you, you know, you got somebody coming to you or you want to be with someone else, but you're just trying to tie up the loose ends. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I say I mean, um, Taurus, I say that because Taurus had a similar situation. You may want to check out their video. Let's see what other messages we can get. I want to do another spread for you guys. Okay, overall energy for this spread. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is representing somebody who um, may be um, not planning or not not in place to um, have money for long-term stability. Okay, so there could be a shortage of money here. Somebody focused on, you know, making the supplements that they need financially. They could have been laid off from the job, fired from the job. Um, hours could have been cut back, but there's a financial difficulty here that could be going on. Um, this In a relationship, this could be um, your person seeing you as, as someone who they can get something from. That they can take advantage of in some way, shape, or form. You know, maybe this, this represents the fact that they may think that you're easy. You know, that, that they can, you know do what they want and that you know you're going to take them you're going to deal with them um the current situation is the seven of pentacles here this is um taurus energy the challenge is the four of cups here which is can cancerian energy your higher your higher your spirit guides your guardian angels your ancestors your higher self want you to keep in mind the energy of the seven i'm sorry the six of pentacles reverse where your head is at is the death card energy, major arcana, Scorpio energy. And the outcome here, another major arcana, Cancerian energy, moving on. Outcome. Moving on. All right? I can tell you that right now. So the situation for you you're, is a wrap for you. You're, you're basically like, I'm over this. I'm done with this. Your whole feelings have changed about the situation. Um, the current situation is you just, you know, you, you're stacking your ones, you're working, you're being patient, 
you know, you were trying to be patient with this person, trying to see, you know, what was going to go on with them, how things were working. You're very patient with them, extremely patient with them. Uh, but the, the thing is, is that they don't appreciate you with the Four of Cups energy. And so you realize that, you know what, you know, this person could be seeing other people or, you know what, I, I got other attention that I've been ignoring. People have been coming at me. I've been ignoring them, trying to work out things with you, but you're not appreciative of me. So as a result, I'm, I'm you know, I'm over this situation. It's to the point where you've had enough. You've been more than patient, more than kind, and it's like you're just ready to move on now. Could be the same thing with the job. All right, the job situation. They don't appreciate you. A lot of people are having issues in the workplace right now. We got Pluto in retrograde in Capricorn, which is the house of career aspirations. We got Jupiter going into retrograde. Pluto and Pluto's in Jupiter. Pluto's in retrograde right now in in that house. Um, Jupiter is there and will be in retrograde. I think on the thirteenth or the fifteenth of May. So a lot of people reassessing their careers, looking at what's going on with the job situation. A lot of people getting fired. Um, getting laid off, hours getting cut because of the COVID situation. So a lot of people are feeling this in that way. So if this is a career situation here. You, you you know, you're just sitting here stacking your ones with the seven of pentacles energy, trying to make sure that, you know, you're looking at all the other options you have in reference to bringing in money and trying to save money and put away money. And we have that clarified with despair in reverse because that's going to bring you security. That's what's going to make you feel comfortable and not feel stressed. The challenge is, is that, you know, um, you don't know what's going to happen with the four of cups here, energy here. Um, you, you don't know if they're going to pop up and say, oh, okay, you're fired. Or, oh, okay, we got to let you go. We got that clarified with conversation. So you could be talking about this with your loved ones and, you know, the people that you live in the household with. You could be talking to them saying, look, I don't know what's going on, you know, with this COVID-19 thing. I could lose my job. My hours could be cut back. If, or you could be explaining to your, your family that this has already happened. So that we can't take things for granted. We got that in the last uh, read as well. You can't take things for granted. You know, you're letting them know, look, we need to make sure that, you know, we're rationing out what we have. Finances are short right now. You know, we don't have the money coming in that we need coming in on the regular and we don't know what's going to happen. So what we need to do is we need to exercise um, better judgment in reference to what we use and not be so wasteful. Um, as far as your spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors here, we have the six of wands in reverse energy here. Um, one second. Um, with the six of wands in reverse energy, we have that clarify with cheerfulness. So for some of you, it's like, um, with this six of wands energy in reverse here, um, you're feeling like, you know, you don't want to participate anymore. Um, you're feeling like, okay, um, <clears> hmm. <throat> In reference to the job here. It's like you, you're you you're to the point where it's like, okay, um, if this happens, we're going to be okay with the cheerfulness card. Because we're preparing. We're saving our money. We got our money. We got our options here. We're looking at what's going on. So in the event that we lose our job with the Six of Wands in reverse, we're going to be all right with the cheerfulness card. We'll, we'll be okay. As long as we, you know, make sure that we take precautions and not and, and rationalize what we have, ration what we have, use it, don't be wasteful, things like that. Um, with the death card here, this represents the fact that you have to change your whole mindset in reference to what's going on. You have to adapt now to the surroundings. So life the way it was before, it's going to be totally different and it's never going to go back to the way that it was. And we have death clarified with death in reverse. So some of you, you know what, it's like, okay, I don't want to feel stuck. I don't want to get to a point where I'm stuck and, you know, at a, at a disadvantage here. So I'm going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to change. And the outcome is the um, chariot energy, which represents you moving forward. Some of you feel like, okay, well, maybe we need to downsize. So we need to relocate. Okay, find a small, uh, find a, a different place or um, downsize, maybe find a smaller place for some of you or move in with someone. Okay, we have that clarified with uh, waiting in reverse. It's like, no, we don't want to wait. We want to go ahead and do things right now because we want to make sure that we conserve our funds. So we want to take control of the situation and um, 
This could represent partnering up with other family members or friends, moving in with other family members and friends, okay? And um, with the Hermit energy, this is your energy, Major Arcana. This is you going within, listening to your higher self, figuring out what it is you need to do in reference to your finances, okay? Now, if this is a love situation, this is someone who's been patient with someone, you know, trying to work things out with them. But with despair in reverse, it's like, I'm not going to let you stress me out anymore. I've been patient enough with you. I'm no longer going to allow you to stress me out. The challenge is, is this person doesn't appreciate you with the four of cups. Clarify with conversation. No matter how much you talk to this person, they're just not getting it or they just don't care. And it's just like, you know what? This is the problem here. So your higher self is telling you, you know, your spirit guides, guardian angels is like, okay, you're going to have to accept this loss because this person is stressing you out so much with this despair in reverse here. You'll be happy to get rid of this person. Or what it is, is this person is seeing someone else. Like I said in the last spread, your person is seeing someone else or you're seeing someone else. All right. So as a result, this relationship is over for you, you know, and you're done being stuck with the death card in reverse. Clarifying the death card upright. It's like my whole feelings have changed towards this person. I don't even feel the same about them anymore. You know, and I'm, I'm done being stuck in this relationship that I'm not interested in and that I have no, you know, no desire to be in anymore. This person refuses to respect me. They refuse to appreciate me. They refuse to treat me right. They refuse to be loyal. I'm done. The outcome is, yeah, I'm moving out or this person is moving out, um, you know, and with the waiting card in reverse, it's like, no, nah, we're going to do this right now. I'm not waiting. So you're actively looking for a place. Some of you, um, you know, with the um, four of pentacles in reverse, you realize that there's no long term stability in this relationship anymore because the four of pentacles upright represents long term stability. So it came out in reverse. This was the overall energy. This person thinks they can keep taking advantage of you. You realize that this is a over. So you step into your power with the Queen of Wands energy here. And um, with the Two of Cups in reverse here, you know, you argue and fighting. This is you just saying, you know what? I'm no longer interested. I'm just not. And so you go within with the Hermit energy. Some of you, you isolate yourself. You move to someplace else. You maybe go stay with another family member or someone's moving and relocating. Um, and as a result of someone, you know, looking to relocate and move, um, you're looking at your money. You may be waiting on, um, uh, you know, approval of an apartment or something like that. Okay, that's what I'm getting for some of you here. Let's see, I'm going to do another spread for you. So let's see about how your person feels about you and then I'll get you some advice and then we'll wrap up the wrap up for April. Alright, so this is for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, overall energy. <clears throat> this time it's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody who could be very financially dependent on someone else. They may not have the funds and the money that they need to take care of themselves. This is what they're feeling. This is queen energy. So this is what you're feeling on the inside. This is your response to what's happening uh, to you. So, for example, some of you may be asked to leave. Some of you um, may be... Um, and you don't have the finances to do so. Some of you may know you need to get out of this relationship and you're not able to move right now because of your financial situation. Um, some of you are with someone who's envious, someone who is just money hungry and they're around you because they just want to take from you. Let's see what um we got here as far as how this person feels about you. So you two are arguing at, you're going at it, you're arguing. Um... With the Five of Swords energy, this is telling me that that's the type of communication going on. It's tit for tat, mind games, Five of Swords, um, Aquarius energy here. Um, this is a situation where, you know, it's just no winners in it. You know, people are just going at it. It's like no matter what's going on, there's still um, the tit for tats, the arguments, the back and forth. Um, the petty behavior, the petty arguments. How this person feels about the situation overall is... Not in love anymore with the Ace of, of Cups in Reverse. 
Uh, hopefully there's no hate here, but I'm getting strongly there very well. Could be because of this card here. So the opposite of love we know is hate. Okay. A lot of people don't equate that with the love in reverse, but I do, especially when it's next to a card like this. So there could be some real hate here. Now how this person feels about you deep down is the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They feel that you're a stubborn individual. They feel that there's no growth, no potential, no follow through. They feel that you know, um, you're know you somebody who they can't rely on. You're not dependable. For some of you, you can't keep a job or they feel that you can't keep a job or you feel that way about this person. Um, you feel that the person is not too bright, not too intelligent. Well, that's how they feel about you. Take it as it resonates. Now, six to eight, I'm sorry, Um, let me say this. As far as this person, um, what they've been telling you, are they going to walk their talk? We have the um, nine of swords here. This person is actually stressing you out, all right, with the games here. Because this, what what, this is what they're doing. So this is aggravating for you. Stressed out. You guys are constantly fighting, arguing, going back and forth. I pray the kids, well, the kids are there, they're hearing this. So some of you, hopefully, you're not staying together for the kids because the kids want y'all probably a partner. Like, please, let mommy and daddy, you know, okay, stay away for a couple of days and we have some peace in the house. I don't know why people think the kids don't see stuff. <laughs> That's, I digress. Um, so as far as external factors that would keep you guys from working things out, we have the three of wands in reverse. This is just someone feeling like there's no more growth in the situation. We can't grow together. With the three of wands in reverse, wands um, represent action, but in reverse, this is inaction. So with the three, this is about cooperation, creativity, working together for growth and expansion, and that's in reverse. So you can't grow with this person because you feel as if, look at how you feel about them. You feel like this, this person doesn't have any, there's nothing you can do with this. You can't do anything with this type of individual. And six to eight weeks from now, if you continue dealing with this individual, it's like you're you're just gonna leave. Like you're you. It's like you you're still dealing with them. Nothing's gonna change. It's like you're not seeing it, or you're not getting it, or with the um. This is major arcana. This is them having you um in an illusion, or this is you being an illusion, being disillusioned about what's gonna work out and what's gonna happen, because it's just not. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. See, as far as, you know, what's going on with you two, as far as the conversation is concerned, we have room and revert. I mean, room showing up here. So it's like you guys are stuck in the house together. And this is this is craziness because you really don't really like you really don't like each other. How this person feels about the relationship in general is the Ace of Cups reverse clarify with Malay Day in reverse. They're like over this. They're over the love, you know, the love sick you know, type of situation with you. They're over it. It, it. There's no love here. Um, How they feel about you deep down is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. They feel that there's no movement forward with you. Clarify with enemy. They don't trust you or you don't trust this person. That's crazy to live in a house with someone you don't trust, but that's some real shit. That's a lot. That's what's going on with a lot of people who are in relationships right now when this COVID epidemic um came into play. You know, now you can't move out. A lot of people are going through this. This is like a karma that people are getting because they know they shouldn't have been in this relationship, but they kept going. They kept it going on and on and on because they didn't want to move or they just took the person for granted. Now you're stuck with this person. This person's stuck with you. Now, as far as um, is this person going to walk the talk? We have the nine of swords here. This person is stressing you out. Clarify with star, uh, sweetheart in reverse. Okay, because they're talking to someone else or you want to talk to someone else. One or the other. What's uh, keeping you guys from working things out is that there's no growth here. There's no room for growth. Clarify with old woman in reverse. It's like, you know, you would be naive to think that there was growth here. The outcome here is the um, hangman in reverse. Clarify with widower in reverse. So somebody is just not getting the fact that this is over. Somebody's not getting it. Somebody's stuck. I don't know if it's because it's the finances. And that's what I'm thinking it is here is because of the finances. Yep, it's because of the finances. Somebody um, with the um, Empress in reverse here, 
the Four of Wands, um, the Four of Swords in reverse, Eight of Wands, waiting on messages um, in reference to, um, you know, apartments and things like that. Um, somebody, they're vulnerable. They have no choice but to stay here. This is what this is telling me. Same thing with the job situation. It's like you hate this job. But you have no choice but to stay here until you can get um, a reply back from someone. It's like, you know, you got to be careful. Your boss is, is looking at you and you're looking at your boss like your enemies. They don't mean you and they don't mean you good at all with the magician in reverse. Let's get you some advice. What advice do you have for Virgo in this situation? What advice do we have? Fate. This is a destined partnership. So this was a partnership, whether it's you and your boss or you and your lover or another family member or a friend. But this was meant to teach you a lesson. So this is a karmic relationship, a karmic partnership of some sort, which was meant to teach you a lesson. And once the lesson is learned, you're supposed to move away from it. You keep dealing with the situation. It's not going to do anything but get worse because you're supposed to end this. You're supposed to have learned some lessons from this. And you're going to keep getting the headaches until you get it and leave. We have interference. So some of you, like I was saying earlier with the other readings, um, the other spreads, someone you, some of you are seeing someone else or want to move on with someone else, but you're stuck with this person. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Some of you just need to get away and get some air until, you know, you're able to get away from this person. I don't know if you have other friends or family member you can stay with. Um, or, you know, maybe you just need to go out frequently and get air just to compose yourself and calm yourself down. But you, yeah, time alone is what you need right now. Very important for your emotional and physical well-being. Strictly sexual. So this connection is passionate but not enduring. So some of you, you're still having sex with this person because it's a strong karmic tie. Which is why a lot of people get stuck with their karmics because the sex is crazy. But, you know, the relationship is over. There's no love here. We know that with the Ace of Cups reverse. And then we have put away the computer, working hard, and having more fun will help strengthen the relationship. So for some of you, um, I don't know if this is going to work out, but you can try it. You know, just to maybe try to get through things. I mean, you may know the relationship is over. If you guys have kids together, maybe you can at least, um, you know, sit down and just have a heart to heart and be like, look, we need to get through this right now. We're here. You know, we need to just make the most of it. You know, we know that in the end, we're going to, you know, end up once we're able to move out, we're able to, to do what we got to do. But in the meantime, while we're here, let's just try our best to be civil with one another and treat each other fairly because in the end, this is a major situation affecting everybody. And I don't hate you or anything like that, or maybe some of you do, but the ones who don't and you have children with this person, you still have to deal with them. So, you know, try to put on a good front for the kids. Try to say, look, let's just do the best we can so that we all can stick together and work this out. And then once this is over, we're making our plans now. Once this is over, we'll go our separate ways. Like sometimes you got to swallow your pride. Especially when a situation like this, I don't see any other way that working out. You don't want to kill each other.